Welcome, matrices and transformation. The following are the vertices of triangle PQR, P11, Q31, R14. One, plot the triangle on the graph given on mark. Two, triangle PQR was reflected on the line X is equals to zero to give P1, Q1, R1. Draw the triangle on the graph given on mark. Three, the triangle P1, Q1, R1 was transformed by matrix 0, negative 1, 1, 0 to give P2, Q2, R2. On the axis, draw the triangle P2, Q2, R2, the grid, 2 marks. Then there is a part form. The triangle P2, Q2, R2 was further transformed into a triangle P3, Q3, and R3 using the matrix 2, 0, 0, 0, 1. Draw the triangle and state its coordinates. 3 marks. In the last one, 4. Calculate the area of the triangle P3, Q3, R3. Drawn above. So that is the question. Let's go to the first part. Now the first part you're supposed to plot. This is uh, question number 1. This one. You're supposed to plot this triangle P11. Q31 and R14. So let me get the graph paper. So I'll use this graph paper that is here to plot that. I'll use this graph paper. So let me draw the axis. The axis will so have the center there, then I will have negative one here, then negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, and here we'll have one. This is a two, three, four, five, six. Seven and we have uh, one here, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So P P is one one, one one is here. Then Q Q is uh, three one, three one. Q is three one. So is zero. Q is there. Three one. Then R is one four. R is one four. One four is here. So this is where R is. So you can see the triangle. So we join these. You can join these to form this triangle. As you can see here. So we have the triangle as shown. So that is a triangle PQR, P, Q, and R. So that is the triangle. Now that is one mark. We've drawn that. We go to the second part of the question. Triangle PQR was reflected on the line X is equals to zero to give P1, Q1, R1. Draw the triangle on the graph given. So this one is a reflection on this line. So one thing that you're supposed to know, when you reflect any point on the line X is equals to zero, which is that line? Which is line X is equals to zero? X is equals to zero is the Y axis. That is the Y axis. And if you have a general point, let's say AB, and it is uh, reflected along this line, the mirror line, uh, it will be transformed into negative A, B. So notice that the X coordinate changes the sign when you reflect any point along the Y axis. 
So in this uh, case, we have um, this point as 1, 1. So 1, 1 will be negative 1, 1. So the x coordinate is the only one that changes to uh, negative. Or if, if it was negative, it changed to positive. If it was positive, it changed to negative. It changes the sign. The x the y coordinate remains the same. So in this case, uh, 1, 1. Uh, look at this this is how you're going to transform these so let me just write it here before we go to the plotting so p which is uh, 1 1 will be p prime to be negative 1 1 since uh, the x coordinate is the only one that changes to uh, the sign negative then q is uh, 3 1 so that one changes to q prime. This one will change to negative 3, 1. Then we have r. r is um, 1, 4. That one change to. That one changes to negative 1, 4. So this is what we need now to plot for the second part of the question. Let's plot that and draw it. So P is negative 1, 1. So it will be here. So this will be P prime. P prime will be there. Then uh, Q is 3, 1. And that is 3, 1. So it will be negative 3, 1 to be here. That is a Q, Q prime. Then R, R prime will be, that is a 1, 4. So it will be negative 1, 4 negative 1, 4. So it will be there. So we can join this. Make this triangle. So that is uh, the triangle reflected these are uh, p prime q prime r prime so this is the image after being transformed by a reflection along this line that is the y-axis the line x is equals to zero so we're done with that part let's go to so we're done with the second part uh, the other part is uh, this one Part 3, the triangle P, P1, Q1, R1 was transformed by a matrix 0, negative 1, 1, 0 to give P2, Q2. So we need to now transform that using this matrix. The image that you've already obtained, we need to transform that using this matrix. So anytime we, we have a matrix of transformation, we do pre-multiply it with the object to get the image. <clears throat> so in this case, we have 0 negative 1 so this is a 0 negative 1 so 0 negative 1 1 0 it is here 1 0 it is here 1 0 so this one is the matrix that transforms now what we had uh, initially we had uh, p prime Q prime and R prime to give uh, P2, Q2 and uh, R2. So we can put the coordinates of P. P1 is negative 1 from here, negative 1, 1. Is going to be negative 3, 1, and uh, negative 1, 4. So, of course, um, I already assumed that you already know how to multiply these. Uh, how to multiply the matrices. So, we can multiply this one very fast. So, we multiply like this, row 1, column 1. So, this one is 0, um, plus 1 times 1, this will be 1, 
when you multiply this, this will be 1. Then row 1, column 2, this will be again 1. This one will be 4. Then you go to row 2, row 2, column 1, you get negative 1. This will be 1. Then this one will be 3. And then when you multiply the other one here will be 1. So you need to go to that. We've done a video on that, on how to multiply matrices. So multiplying this one should not be an issue. It's done in the form 3. Now, once you get that, you're supposed to you go to the question. You're supposed to draw on the axis, draw the triangle on the grid. So we need to draw that triangle. So the triangle that you're drawing is this one now. We have uh, P, P2 as a 1, 1, then Q2 as a 1, 3, and uh, R2, R2 as a 4, 1. So let us draw that. We draw this one now. So 1, 1. So we have 1, 1. So again, the same point here. 1, 1 will be shared. So it will have, we have P2 there. And then um, the other one is uh, 1, 3. Q2 is 1, 3. Three, so it will be here. It will be there. Then the other one is uh, R2. R2 will be 4, 1. 4, 1 to be here. So we join this point. So this one, this one, and this one. So we have something like this. Need to look at that triangle very carefully. So the triangle P2, Q2, R2 is P2 is here, uh, Q2 is here, and R2 is here. So we've done that part. We've done that part. Now we can go to the next part. Uh, the next part is this uh, part 4. The triangle P2, Q2, R2 was further transformed by, um, into triangle P3 by using a matrix. Draw the uh, triangle and set the coordinates. So the same way, when you have matrix of transformation, you do pre-multiply it. Now this time we have this matrix, 2, 0, and 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 0, and uh, 0, 1. That is the matrix that we have that is the matrix and now we are transforming now these are p2 so we have uh, p2 q2 q2 and uh, r2 like that and this will give uh, p3 q3 r3 this is what you're going to get so we already have um, P2 is 1, 1 from here. Then Q2 is 1, 3. Then R2 is 4, 1. So we multiply this again. Multiplying this one should not be an issue. So row 1, column 1. This one will give, um, we do this one very fast. This will be 2, 2, and 8. And then... And this one will be 1, 3, 1. So the coordinates, remember the coordinates, the way you're supposed to read the coordinates of these are P3 will be 2, 1. Then Q3 is how you're supposed to read the coordinates, 2, 3. And then we have R, R3 will be 8 1 8 1 like that so this is what you're supposed to plot we go to the graph uh, we plot this so p3 is 2 1 2 1 is here so this uh, should have p3 should be here p3 then q3 is 2 3 2 3 is supposed to be here Q3. Q3 is supposed to be here. Then R3 is 8, 1. 8, 1. Need to add here. 8, 1. 8, 1 is here. This is R3. 
so we have p3 q3 r3 so we can join these join this zone a straight line so now you have uh, p3 q3 and r3 is there you have drawn that and you have answered the question by stating the coordinates you've given the coordinates the coordinates are there now the last one is um, calculate the area of the triangle p3 q3 r3 the area of that triangle so let's go and see that triangle look at that triangle p3 is here q3 r3 so that one is uh that is a uh, very easy because that one is a uh, triangle how do you get the area of a triangle area of a triangle is a uh, half base times height so we just need to identify the base the base begins from p here all the way to r so how many squares are you one two three four five six six squares so the base is six can repeat again so from here p is here r is here so one two three four five six then the height just two from here to here it is just two squares just like that and this one will be when you multiply this one will be six six square units so it is as simple as that six square units and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to solve that question on matrices and transformation thank you